Hey, this is Mr. G, and I want to talk to you about our new single, 1999. So here's where everything started. It was after school, and I just got home. And I started talking to my dad about the school project that I had presented in class earlier that day. And what happened is, I said something about my product being 1999, you know? And then suddenly he got this idea and he started seeing 1999, it's only 1999. That's when he decided, hey, we can write a song off of this. So he made that the main chorus and then started adding stuff to it as it came to his mind. As he started adding more stuff, he needed my help. I also helped him add more words. Do you remember those infomercials from the 90s? You remember those, right? Those infomercials where they say everything's 1999. Hey, this is 1999. You want to buy it? Hey, we need you to buy this because of this particular reason or whatever. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. Like the Snuggies, the Chichia pads, the Charbroil grills, everything. Order my new red copper egg chef for only $19.99. It's like, man, there's so much stuff you can buy. All of it on the TVs. Ah, oh, man. You can just, you never get used to it, you know? If you were born in that time, they were the best. Or the worst, you know? You never know. Because honestly, some of those products were crap. The Better Marriage Blanket is a comforter that absorbs your spouse's fart so that it doesn't stink up the bed. So, basically, my dad related our song 1999 to those infomercials. And he was like, y you know what? This would be really funny. I think people would enjoy this because, of course, who doesn't want to remember the 90s, right? For all the fun and enjoyable things we did back then. Such a wonderful time. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't even born in the 90s, so I was like, infomercials? What? Nowadays, not that many people watch TV. Like, who does that? Most people are on their phones and Google searching stuff instead of seeing the infomercials on the television. So it's like, it's been a pretty big change over the past 20 years. And basically, we put this transition in our song, in the rap part, where we talk about we don't watch TV, we Google search, and so on and so on. Because it talks about how those 20 years passed, and now everything's modern, everything's on your cell phone. If you want something done, boom, everything right here on your cell phone. It's that easy. Here's a fun fact. My dad used two Brazilian instruments in our song. And this is called the cavaquin. Now, it's like a ukulele, except instead of playing it with your fingers, you're gonna use a pick to play it instead. So, it's a small instrument, but it's really neat, and it sounds great. It actually makes up one of the main parts in our song. Another instrument that my dad used was a Brazilian percussion instrument called the pandeiro. This is basically the same as the tambourine, but it has this thing that you can hit to make that percussion noise. One of the other sound effects that we used in our song well, came actually came from my nephew, my seven-month-old nephew, whose name is Ramsey. He was just there on the ground playing with his toys, having a good time, and he was just casually making baby noises. And my dad decided, hey, you know what? We could probably use this in the song. So basically what he decided to do is record him making the noises and then use that in the song. And it ended up turning out pretty well, actually. Right now, I'm going to play something for you. Watch this. China. 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 Do you know who that was? Did you recognize that voice? I'm sure you must have. Of course we had to put Donald Trump in the song. What could possibly make it better, right? We took this part from a speech that Trump was making that involved China, and we took that part 
and then just dropped it into the song along with the chichia bets. And it sounded pretty funny. We put the echo effect in everything. It is hilarious. To make the song even better, he decided to invite a baritone saxophone player to play the part for the song. His name's Nick, and he did an absolutely terrific job. The part sounded wonderful. It sounded incredible. It really gave the song the fullness that it deserved. And you can hear it near the end. You can agree with me or not, but personally, that's my favorite part. I think that the most memorable part of the song is probably going to be the main chorus, where it goes like, Easy payments, Easy payments. home delivery. Home delivery. enjoyed 1999 the link to download it will be in the description so look there and remember to subscribe to your YouTube channel okay